10 years ago, building an engine for an offshore boat was hands down the most demanding build you'd ever come across. The boat's combination of weight and size and the bouncing over waves causing the props to lunge in and out of the water makes an offshore engine one tough customer. However, today the toughest engine application is off-road racing. It's these kinds of endurance engines that Jeff Ginter, owner of Jeff Ginter Racing Engines in Artesia, California, specializes in. Those off-road trophy trucks are heavy and they cover some of the gnarliest terrain you can imagine all while traveling at high speeds and for long distances. Jeff Ginter Racing Engines recently built a big bore LS engine for these endurance applications, and we're gonna dive into the details. Hey everyone, I'm Greg Jones, the managing editor of Engine Builder Magazine, and welcome to Engine of the Week. This video is sponsored by Cometic Gasket, sealed by Cometic, and by Pengrade Oil. Precision, performance, pen grade. Always the original green oil. Jeff Ginter has been a Southern California man most of his life, and having been raised around racing and the likes of the Wyans, Edelbrocks, and Iskadarians, he was destined to end up in the engine building industry. His Artesia, California based shop has three full time employees, and the bulk of the engines JGRE does are LS based. The platform has become a very, very popular engine, not only for desert racing, but for marine and four-wheel drive applications as well, all of which JGRE tends to. The shop specializes in a big bore LS engine that features either a DART or RHS block to start. Here's Jeff himself to tell you more. So these are gonna be raised cam, tall deck. Crankshaft wise, we would run like a four and a quarter inch stroke crank which would be supplied either by uh, Sonny Bryant or Callie's. Connecting rods that we use on these would be a 6350 H-beam connecting rods. And uh, those would either be Callie's, Dyer, or Carrillo. Our piston manufacturer of choice right now would be CP. Rings we use uh, pretty much exclusively total seal rings. Cylinder heads are going to be all pro or Brodex. Valve springs are pack. We pretty much use all comp cams. Camshafts, T and D shaft mount rockers. For quite a few of the engines JGRE builds, the shop runs a gear drive that they jointly developed with a company by the name of RCD. The oil pan and oil pump for the Big Bore LS are made by Daily Engineering. The engine bearings are either King or Clevite, and the gaskets are Cometic. These big bore LS engines generally end up in the 454 to 465 cubic inch range. On race gas, normally aspirated, these engines make right around 800 horsepower and north of 600 pound-feet of torque. Depending on the race series and where the actual engine is going to be used, the compression ratio ranges between 11.5 to 1 and 13.5 to 1. We really specialize in higher horsepower endurance-based engines. So, you know, for us, I mean, we're always searching for horsepower, but, you know, we're not going to sacrifice, you know, 10 or 15 horsepower if we're going to think that it's going to cause us some longevity or some durability issues. So, you know, for what we do, I mean, these things have to go for hundreds of miles in the most demanding and abusive applications uh, that you can ever imagine. With JGRE's attention to detail and expertise in engine building, this is one big bore LS that should have no problems navigating the ups and downs of endurance racing. Well, that does it for this episode of Engine of the Week. A special thanks to Cometic Gasket and Pengrade Motor Oil. And remember, if you have an engine you'd like to see featured, please email me at gjones at babcox.com. But wait, there's more guys. We are currently running our Engine of the Year 2018 contest, which features 10 of the best engines from the past year. Go to the web address shown here to vote for your favorite, and who knows, you could even come away with $100 cash just for clicking on a button and voting for an engine. Well, thanks for sticking around. I'll see you all next time.